So today is a really exciting day. I want to talk to you guys and bring you guys along for the ride. As I do this, you might see the name of this video. Um, so you know why I'm really excited. But let me start this off with a little bit of an anecdote. I'm going to keep this short and sweet. Back in middle school, I had this uh, principal. His name was Mr. Whitney, John Whitney. And I found out that he was the uh, ex-guitar player for Tower of Power. He's played with artists like Jimi Hendrix. And it's just, it's insane what this man has accomplished in his lifetime. And the fact that he was my principal. So I would actually try to get sent to his office when I was in middle school because I wanted to talk to him and pick his brain about music. And when I walked into his office for the first time, he had a gold record, a 1955, 1959 Tweed Bassman, and a 1959 All Original Sunburst Strat just sitting in his office. And ever since then, I've been enamored with the Tweed Bassman and old Strats. Um, so one thing I used to take for granted was this thing called Rock and Roll Club that I started. Every Friday morning, kids would get together and we would all play classics like um, Little Wing, Jimi Hendrix stuff, uh, Eric Clapton stuff. He introduced me to the world of blues guitar. So that man, I, I hope he's doing amazingly. Um, he's been a, such a huge influence on my life and I can't thank him enough. So if Mr. Whitney, if you ever see this video, thank you so much for everything that you do. Um, you've been an amazing, uh, amazing mentor to me um, throughout my years. Um, I'm, almost, I'm almost like tearing up because he's the one who got, who got me into this entire world of music. But anyway, uh, that's not part of the story. What, part, what the story is, is every morning on Fridays we would get together and I would walk into the auditorium and I would eye his tweed basement and his strat. I remember a couple times when I was like 12 years old he let me play them. And ever since then I've been enamored with vintage, um, vintage era 1950s to 1960s strats. But I never thought I'd be able to afford one, nor did I ever think that I'd, that I'd want to spend the outrageous amounts of money for them. However, 15 years later, and I'm in my mid-20s, I have a good job at Johnson Johnson, I live within my means, um, I don't spend a lot of money on other things besides my passion. Um, I drive a really cheap car, I save a lot of money, I have a bunch of side hustles I work on, so I... I was looking, looking on Reverb when I had some downtime, which doesn't happen often, and I was scrolling and scrolling and scrolling, and then all of a sudden one popped out at me. It was a Sunburst 1970 4-bolt Sunburst Strat. And I looked at the price and I was like, why is it $3,500 cheaper than everything else on the market? So I called Southside Guitars in, in Brooklyn, New York, and I talked to them about the guitar, and they sent me a bunch of pictures of the inside of the guitar, which I'll post here. Um, but it was routed for a humbucker in the middle position at one point. It didn't have an original pick guard or pickups. It had Lawler uh, blackface pickups in the guitar, um, and the saddles had been changed. All of that dropped the price down to a player's grade $5,400, which is still outrageously expensive for a general consumer. None of my guitars, besides my custom shop Les Paul, I paid over $2,800, $2,900 for it. Everything else I paid 1000 to $2,500, let us say. I've never spent this kind of money on a guitar. But I was thinking it over, and one, these guitars don't come around that often. Two, it's basically my dream guitar. And three, it's close by. So I want to take you guys on the trip with me and even if I don't decide to buy the guitar because I want to play it first and make sure it's something that I really want to invest the five five grand on, I want to bring you guys along for the ride just so, so that you can see my rationales behind what I'm thinking, my purchase decisions, because I am not rich. I am not rich. Let me put this out there now. I'm not rich. I'm, uh, I'm still at the beginning stages of my career, so I am by no means super wealthy. Um, I'm just like all of you guys, I save my ass off, I work my ass off, I'm working a manual labor job, going to school full time, so I don't want this to be a video about how I bought this fifth, like $5,000 Stratocaster, that's not what I'm after. I'm after one kind of point. If you want something bad enough, if you dream it, if you visualize it, yes it sounds like bullshit, but if you want something bad enough, something will eventually come up and um, you'll be in the position to do something about it. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. I will see you at the guitar store.
morning everyone so it is a rainy rainy saturday so i have a two hour drive up to go pick up my cousin up in new jersey um i'm gonna stop off there on the way to Southside guitars up in brooklyn um i'm really excited to see this strat uh we'll see if i want to buy it I'm, I'm taking this day as it comes i'm not going in expecting to buy anything I'm going in with the expectation to try something and if I like it that much, then I will actually pull the trigger on it. But I wanted to take this trip, even though they were selling it on Reverb, I wanted to take this trip anyway to uh, to make sure that the guitar was right for me because this is a player's guitar, it's not a collector's guitar. I'm gonna be playing this guitar for the next God knows how many years. So I wanna make sure it is 100% perfect, especially because this is probably the most expensive guitar I've ever bought. So uh, let's get rolling, I will see you guys up there. So I'm in New Jersey and I almost forgot the fact that you're not supposed to pump your own gas here. So I almost jumped out of the car and like started pumping my gas and the guy was like, get back in your car. I was like, all right, but anyway, um, about to pick up my cousin AJ, about to get into the city. It's gonna be exciting. See you guys there. Videos. All right. Whoops, push. Or a strat. One of the so we're at Southside Guitars. I have my the 70 strat in my hands, and my god, sounds fantastic. I'm plugged into a GMP 50, and it, it just sounds just unreal. Thank you. 
incredible yeah, goodness. So much stuff. <sighs> now comes the fun part. Every time I try to do the, um, it wants me to do the 260, 2661 first, and then the 3000. Oh, that's fine. The then you can, Is that okay? you can just put cool. so the 2661. Okay. That one. For some reason, I keep entering 3000. It's like, take my money. Yeah. It's my early pre birthday present to myself. <laughs> It is. One that will last you your whole life. <laughs> yes, yes. First vintage buy and probably first of many. <laughs> and then the other one. Oh yes, remind me on my phone that I just spent a crud load of money. Great. Cool. And then... Hey Eric. Yeah. This Owen has his. So these guys just took all of my money. <laughs> Happy early birthday to me, woo! <laughs> awesome, thank you! Showing that I paid all of my money for it. <laughs> Cleared out my bank account for it. <laughs> yeah, of course. What was your name again? My name's Gigi. Thank you. I'm 100% sure to send more people here. Yeah. 1971 Telecaster. That's freaking twingy. Give me more bass. Less trouble. Telecaster though. SG custom. This neck is weird as shit. It's the original slim taper, I guess, but. I'm playing. Um, this is a refinned 1965 Pelham Blue, Pelham Blue SG through the JMP.
John. Dude. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate. I really appreciate the help. Yeah? Definitely be back. Definitely be back. It's lunch time. Bought the guitar. Now time to eat. Thanks, AJ, for sitting at the guitar store. I, yeah, no problem. Really but, um, <laughs> but yeah, so we're gonna eat, get home, and uh, I'll do a quick demo with my gear with the guitar. So I'll see you guys there. Music. Why won't you fucking focus? Thank you. I got stuck to the. <sighs> it's raining. Just had some good burgers, but can head back. Sorry I didn't get some, enough good footage in the store. I felt kind of uh, awkward. <laughs> I felt kind of awkward in the store because uh, I didn't know how they, uh, the people would react to a camera shoved in their face. So <laughs> um, when we get back, I'll go over the guitar a little bit more for you guys. It'll be, it'll be a fun little thing. Whoa, Jesus, it's fucking cold. <laughs> All right, guys, we just got home from New York City um, in Brooklyn at um, Southside Guitars. So it went really, really well. I was not going in there expecting to love it as much as I did. I kind of was actually worried, um, as you guys saw earlier in the video, that I wasn't going to like it and it was going to play like shit and I would be disappointed. But it's back in the back seat over there. So uh, let's go take a look at it upstairs. So here's the little demo part of this uh, video here. Strat into Fender Bassman reissue, uh, just a little bit of reverb and a little bit of delay. Uh, let's just get started with some clean tones. Neck pickup. It's got that really uh, thick full sound, like the. some fuzz. Oh, it just makes me want to play. So that's fuzz. Oh Christ. Okay, so let's talk for a minute. Why did I buy this guitar? You just heard it. So this for me was definitely an investment uh, in myself. Uh, I believe in myself as a musician. Um, I'm really thinking about trying to do music a little bit more uh, in terms of mon monetizing my music, trying to write more, try to get myself out there, play out more. That's something I really have been struggling to do um, recently. So this was kind of my way of saying, you can do it. You can be successful in the music industry. You can really um, be that, be as good as some of those guitar players that you see on YouTube, like Matthew Scott, um, who all absolutely freaking rips one of these, Rhett Schull, or any of those big guys, you could be exactly like that. So that's kind of why I bought this guitar. My thoughts on it, though, uh, in summary, fuck. I wish I did this sooner. 
So that's really all I have for you today. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this journey as much as I did. I love this thing. So I'll, uh, if you liked, I'm getting a little bit uh, emotional here. But if you like this video, please feel free to subscribe, like, uh, throw it down below. But uh, I will see you in the next one. Thank you guys so much for coming by.